we're going to present to you is called the Mongolian dance. In this dance, you might see some different props. Now, I want to ask you, what are chopsticks for? For eating. Everybody said eating? All right, however, today we're going to use chopsticks to dance. Now, please keep in mind when you go to Chinese restaurants, please do not dance with the chopsticks there because it's only allowed on stage. Now, put your hands together to welcome the Mongolian dancers.
this boy over here? Do you see horses? Because horse is very popular in Mongolia. People love to ride on a horse and enjoy the weather, the cloud, and nature on the grassland. So after the Mongolian dance, the next dance we're going to bring to you is called the Tibetan dance. There's so many different forms of Tibetan dance, and today we're going to show you one form is called the Kangding Tibet. Before we start to dance, I want to teach you one movement for everybody to wiggle a little. Everybody get ready. Straight your back, open your shoulders. Excellent, everybody seems like a dancer now. And this movement in Mongolian dance is called laughing shoulder. Everybody shoulders up and drop the shoulders down. Keep your back straight and shoulders up, down, up, down. And up go one and two and three and four. Faster, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Listen, listen. <laughs> All right, give us that big round of applause. This is the laughing shoulder in the Mongolian dance. All right, I think the counting Tibetan girls are ready. Are you ready to see the dance? Yeah. Put your hands. 